Ann Hansen. I'm a plant pathologist with Virginia Cooperative Extension and we're out here on the Virginia Tech campus on March 21st, 2017, looking at a blue spruce tree that's looking a little bit pitiful. It's got a lot of uh, twigs that have no needles on them or some of the older needles are turning yellow and uh, dropping off the tree. So we see kind of a thin tree. What we're looking at here is a blue spruce tree with a fungal needle cast disease. And there are several different fungi that can cause needle cast diseases on spruce. One of them is called rhizosphera, and we have rhizosphera needle cast. Needle cast just means that the needles eventually drop off the tree, the infected needles. So what's happening at this time of year is that the fungus is producing spores, probably from these old needles beneath the tree, and the spores are being blown up to the new growth and infecting that new growth. And you won't see any symptoms on those new needles until later this summer or next fall, when those needles will start to turn yellow and then kind of a purplish brown. And what's pretty diagnostic for a fungal needle cast disease on spruce is that the browning will start from the bottom of the tree and kind of move up. People will notice that. And they'll notice that the browning also starts from the interior of the tree and moves out. So you'll see those symptoms on the older needles. But the needles that we see here that are brown or yellow were infected last year and it can take a year or more for those needles to drop off the tree and then the fungus can remain on that needle debris under the tree and cause new infections. So one way to prevent this disease is to spray a registered fungicide on the trees when the new growth is about a half to two inches long and then repeat that treatment several times at two to four week intervals in the spring especially. The fungus can continue to cause infections all season long, but the protectant fungicides are most effective at preventing new infections in the spring when the weather is typically wetter and more conducive to infection. So um, it can take several years of fungicide application before the tree appears to have full foliage again because you've got this delay where, you know, even when you're spraying, there are still a lot of needles on the tree that were infected earlier. The overall look to the tree is a very thin look. You'll see these empty twigs and yellowing and browning on the interior needles. And so the tree is not much of an accent to the landscape when it has this disease. This disease only affects spruce.